Tonight we're looking at one of the fastest growing social problems in Britain, binge drinking amongst teenage girls. British girls are now second in the European Binge Drinking League and are overtaking the boys. I think I drink because we get bored a lot and if everyone else is drinking, you kind of feel like you have to because otherwise you're like the odd one out. Violent crimes committed by girls and women have doubled in five years and binge drinking girls are stretching the emergency services to breaking point. Cherry Healy spent a night on one of the London Ambulance Service's so-called booze buses to look at some of the consequences of binge drinking. I am catching a bus, the Booze Bus, as nicknamed by the London Ambulance Service. It's a specially adapted vehicle to cope with the weekend's drunks. People start rolling out of pubs to go to clubs. That's when we start hitting most of our calls. 90% of them are female. Have you eaten today? Enough for dinner. Watch where you're standing, sweetheart. Don't stand in your vomit. We usually find them in the street, they're covered in vomit, they've wet themselves, just lose all their self-respect. They don't seem to care, they have no remorse. We take them into hospital, they're usually quite abusive. Big push. Good girl, good girl. Yeah, half a bottle of Glenn's vodka and two glasses of wine. Right. She's 17. I want your mum. You want your mum? <laughs> this is a normal night for us, mainly females, mainly quite young, had too much to drink. And the usual line from them is, my drink's been spiked. It's three in the morning and it just, it just keeps on coming. People go on about drugs and the, the horrors of things like heroin and that. I just think alcohol's a far bigger problem than, than any of them. Alcohol costs the NHS a whopping £2.7 billion a year. The cost of a call-out alone is about £650. That was absolutely horrific. I have never seen anything like that in my life. Apparently she had eight glasses of white wine and three Sambucas. There's no doubt that this is uh, the ugliest face of booze. So how do you think a sociologist might explain this? For example, what ideas from sociology could help us understand the way binge drinking is presented in the film and in the media generally? Second, what about binge drinking itself? Do you think the behaviour we saw in the film was deviant? If so, why? And if not, why not? Third, why do you think drinking appears to be increasing so much amongst girls? So much so they're catching up with the boys. Are there any ideas or theories from sociology that might help to explain this? And finally, what about explaining the rise in binge drinking generally? For example, how do you think interactionist, Marxist and feminist theories might be applied to this issue?